Greetings and welcome back to another edition of whatever the skunt you call this thing that you and I do here. In this episode, we will be discussing the paper shard skilling. If this is not a subject that is interesting to you, then there are hundreds of other skunts on this channel you could click away to because this is serious business we are about to discuss. For the rest of you, stay tuned. Hey, something ever surprised you like when you see Tegala, what? Before we get started, if you're new here, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can get updates when we post new videos. Now, the Ricardo Fagundes cold murder case was resuscitated after a police detective, Dion Bascom, who claims to have been close to the initial investigation, took to social media and made some damning allegations against the head of the major crimes unit, Mitchell Caesar, one of the top two gold dealers in Guyana, Azruddin Mohammed, and others. As you may know, ever since Fogundes was killed, we here at Guyana Uncut were looking on and following the developments and the subsequent stall of the investigation into his killing. As convincing as Bascom's story may sound, I have a few issues with his credibility as a witness and as a police officer, which I've expressed before but I will go a bit more in depth in this episode. I will circle back to Bascom in a moment. Let's first discuss a little about paper shorts. According to the streets, there were multiple attempts on Paper Shorts' life over the years. The street said that Paper Shorts' best friend was gunned down in Farmer Street over 15 years ago, a man named Navin Sarao. Google it. It is widely believed that Sarao's assassination was a case of mistaken identity. According to the streets, he was using Paper Shorts' Toyota 212 car, and the unsubs followed the car from Paper Shorts' Sandy Bob Street Kitty home and riddled it with bullets. That case today remains unsolved and the Sarao family never got justice. The streets also reported on an incident in Ogle, where a car paper shorts was driving was shot up in an assassination attempt. Peter Morgan was implicated in that botched hit. It is believed that the main motive behind that attack was that paper shorts used to ring out Morgan's wife's pokey, and most naturally, it enraged Morgan, who was making a name for himself in the streets as a drug lord. I could only imagine the feeling. Then finally, on March 21st last year, they finally got him. I've personally interviewed many people who knew Paper Shorts, including his close relatives. We've tried and failed to get an interview with Roger Kahn, who admitted that Paper Shorts was near and dear to him, but he refused to engage us. Paper's family was seemingly oblivious to his business activities, but was aware that he used to throw down everybody woman. The consensus in the streets suggests that he was also a drug dealer. A fact that is hard for his family to accept, despite him taking care of Roger Kahn's affairs, while he was incarcerated in the USA. So, we spoke about previous assassination attempts on a suspected drug dealer and a man whore who was affiliated with the King of Coke. Let's assume for a second that this assessment is correct. Does this mean that we're okay with a human being getting slaughtered in broad view of the public, just a stone's throw away from the official residence of the president? Hell no! Regardless of what crimes paper may or may not have committed, or who wore money lash, extrajudicial killings is not acceptable, and we need for this matter to be thoroughly investigated so the family could get closure. We already know that the Guyana police force is not capable of conducting a proper impartial investigation, so we need international assistance on this matter. Not the RSS will come here and give the police a pat on their shoulder, then beat out like they did with the Henry boys and Harish Singh. The reason I've prefaced this with so much context is because I don't want there to be any confusion. My call for justice for Paper Shorts is not me being sympathetic to him or Roger Khan. Khan is accused of killing over 200 Guyanese via his notorious Phantom Squad, and he has not stepped foot in any courtroom here to answer to those alleged crimes. His call for justice for Paper Shorts, in my opinion, makes him a barefaced hypocrite. Now let's get back to Dion Bascom. He said in a Facebook Live that I called him a fat rat police because he refused to give us an interview. Now, the next thing I want to address, this guy, mud water, mud water or something like that, who put up something about me yes, last night or when. Yesterday, somebody called me phone, a female called me phone, and tell me she's from some media house and, and so she's from, um, she's working as a journalist, and she wanted to talk to me, so and so. So yeah, she said, which me, though, she's from, she said she's from Uncut News. Right? So I see you from where? She said, Uncut News. So I said, oh, you could be from Uncut News and call him for talk to me. When, when you are promoting this guy and he raised and so he get coming up. You understand? You remember then, I know what's going on. Right? She said, uh, and she trying to tell me no. Um, she tell me no. Me the person I've been exposing this thing of following this paper shots more than all the time and so on. 
So you don't need man main thing, I'm going to talk to you later. Right? No more water make a certain thing and thing because I refused to talk to them yesterday. Make the doodle. Sergeant Bascom, that is very far away from truth zip code. I called you a fat rat police because of these six reasons. Number one, I knew before you had publicly admitted that you were affiliated with a gold dealer named Tamish Jagmohan, who is involved past his neck with illegal activities, from gold smuggling to bribery and all sorts of treachery against innocent rice farmers, whose house you resided at while you were stationed in Etiquibo. Your lawyer said he's your personal friend. Reason number two, you were a part of the initial investigation into Paper Shorts' murder. And as you claim, the prime suspect was an employee of the main competitor of your friend who runs a multi-billion dollar gold trade. The fact that you did not recognize that as a conflict of interest and recuse yourself from the investigation is very suspect. Reason number three, you've admitted on a live that you were involved in many corrupt activities which you did for Caesar. You expect us to take your word as gospel without presenting one single piece of proof of the claims you are making. Reason number four, since we are interested in the truth, we've objectively reviewed the footage of the shooting. And one of the shooter has your body structure. We did not rule you out as a suspect in the murder you were purporting to be investigating. Reason number five, we hear you calling on the president for witness protection while going around trying to extract bribes from the very people you were supposedly afraid of. Yes. I'm referring to the secret meeting a few months ago at the Harbor Bridge. Reason number six, and this was recently brought to my attention. You are rolling around in GPP 7499, which is suspected to be an armored vehicle provided to you by the suspected mastermind of this whole conspiracy. So, as if that wasn't enough, you get a big fancy lawyer to represent you, the matsman himself. You know what these lawyers do when they get a case that is hard to fight? They charge you an arm and a leg in the hopes that you will be deterred. Wait until the public finds out who paid Nigel Hughes five million dollars a few weeks ago. People, entertain this thought with me for a quick second. Suppose Bascom was the man who carried out the hit on Ricardo Fagundes. He would be in the perfect position to derail the entire investigation and put up all sorts of smoke screens to stop the truth from coming out. I'm not saying this is the case. I'm simply asking you people not to let your resentment for a certain race or class of people nor the mistrust you have for the Guyana police force in general to cloud your judgment to the real possibility that Bascom is trying to manipulate the public to give him sympathy when he may very well be one of the men behind the entire conspiracy. Anyways, let's conclude. I don't want anyone to think that I'm taking sides because everyone is gunning for my skinny cartoon scunt. We've exposed what Tamish Jagmohan did to his mother and those rice farmers in Esequibo and he asked the police to come for me. We talked many scunts about Azruddin Mohammed to the point where he was inquiring about our whereabouts. Yo, I'ma tell you how serious is this? Y'all know Azruddin Mohammed is me, family. Y'all know mother what is me making laugh and talking and I can't name it as a man. As a Dean Mohammed called me a day and asked me, do you know who is the boss behind this? I don't know, brother. That's me, body. We go, we eat, we sport, we do life risky things. And if you ask as a Dean he'll tell you, he didn't know. He know yesterday who's more water. I'm pretty sure he wants to ring a hot slap in me for leaking all sorts of embarrassing stunts about him. Thankfully, the video went against YouTube community standards and they deleted it. The PPP now heard I'm forming a political movement and they hoots Leroy Smith aka Big Shits on me. I talk so much scunts about Granger, I'm sure if he see me on the road he gonna run my stunt over. I'm friends with and only loyal to the truth and the people of Guyana. I feel relieved now that I've properly articulated my thoughts on this matter because I need the truth to come out. We need to know who killed Paper Shorts and Navin Sarao. If you have any information that could help us piece this puzzle together, please send it to me. If you're an old-time criminal and you're ready for dry up in a hole, send me a tip and let's give these families some closure. Or put me in your will and leave me the information that could help me solve some of these cold cases. My email is kayamazo at gmail.com. My name is Mudwater. Boom out! Hold up.